Max, we gotta stop meeting like this. It will be a cold day in hell before I let a narc cop stop me. Miss Sachs, do your job. Relax, Max. You're a nice guy. I don't kill nice guys. You're not bad yourself. It was different when Horn wanted Punchinello dead. To cut her ties to the Mafia, he deserved to die. The same goes with her. She's the bad guy here. Her sister was whispering to her in my favor. I knew the appetites of ghosts intimately. They hungered for revenge. No! The gunshot boomed and she fell down in slow motion. She was a nice girl. Not really a stone cold killer. And now she was stone cold dead. That religious fanatics or loyal samurai horns private army was coming at me. Request assistance. came back down, Mona was gone. There was a lot of blood, but no body. Something clicked for the final time. My mind had never been so clear, as if somewhere high above the storm clouds were already gone, cold stars blazing from the black skies. access to the mainframe. From there, I'd be able to override the security locks and get to her office.
Things were now offline. All bets were off. The elevator would take me all the way up. storm as if it was trying to get it all out before the end. personal computer was on. Next to the printer was a neat stack of expensive paper. Hacking through Horn's computer would have unearthed files of criminal plans, strategies for world domination, spy helicopter reports, illegal wiretap recordings, internet porno, all of the above. Take your pick. I really didn't care anymore. I had seen too much of it already. Valkyr had been meant to be a white-winged maiden that would lift you to a warrior's heaven, but it turned out to be a one-way demon ride to hell. The devil was in the drug. I knew. I had met him. And now I was going to kill her, the queen of the underworld who had tried to lift herself a bit closer to heaven with her drug money. No begging, no bribes. She knew better. Honor among killers. We who are about to die. Both of us knew how this would end, in pain and suffering. All this because your wife stuck her nose into things that were none of her business. The cops were coming to take me away. The sirens were like a bad conscience I couldn't shake. It's ridiculous you've made it this far. You won't be alive when they get here. <laughs> 